Lionel Messi's club career began with Barcelona, where he rose through the youth ranks, making his first team debut in 2004. Over the next years, Messi became the club's all-time leading scorer, amassing numerous domestic and international accolades. During his tenure, Barcelona secured 10 La Liga titles, 7 Copa del Rey victories, and 4 UEFA Champions League victories. Messi's individual achievements include 8 Ballon d'Or awards. His remarkable goal-scoring ability and dribbling skills solidified his status as one of the greatest footballers of his generation. In August 2021, due to financial constraints faced by Barcelona, Messi transferred to Paris Saint-Germain, PSG. Joining forces with fellow superstars like Neymar and Kylian Mbappe, he aimed to continue his success on the European stage. Messi quickly adapted to his new environment, contributing significantly to PSG's domestic and continental campaigns. On the international stage, Messi has represented Argentina since his debut in 2005. Despite facing criticism for not winning major trophies with the national team, he secured his three international titles since 2021, leading Argentina to victory in the Copa America, Finalissima and FIFA World Cup, the latter two in 2022. At Barcelona During the 2003-04 season, his fourth with Barcelona, Messi rapidly progressed through the club's ranks, debuting for four youth teams in a single campaign. After being named player of the tournament in four international pre-season competitions with the Juveniles B, he played only one official match with the team before being promoted to the Juveniles A, where he scored 18 goals in 11 league games. Messi was then one of several youth players called up to strengthen a depleted first team during the international break. French winger Ludovic Gioli explained how Messi caught the eye in a training session with Frank Ricard's first team, he destroyed us all. They were kicking him all over the place to avoid being ridiculed by this kid, he just got up and kept on playing. He would dribble past four players and score a goal. Even the team's starting centre-backs were nervous. He was an alien. At 16 years, 4 months, and 23 days old, Messi made his first team debut when he came on in the 75th minute during a friendly against Jose Mourinho's Porto on November 16, 2003. His performance, creating two chances and a shot on goal, impressed the technical staff, and he subsequently began training daily with the club's reserve side, Barcelona B, as well as weekly with the first team. After his first training session with the senior squad, Barca's new star player, Ronaldinho, told his teammates that he believed the 16-year-old would become an even better player than himself. Ronaldinho soon befriended Messi, whom he called little brother, which greatly eased his transition into the first team. To gain further match experience, Messi joined Barcelona C in addition to the Juveniles A, playing his first game for the third team on November 29. He helped save them from the relegation zone of the Tercera division, scoring five goals in ten games, including a hat-trick in eight minutes during a Copa del Rey match while man-marked by Sevilla's Sergio Ramos. His progress was reflected in his first professional contract, signed on February 4, 2004, which lasted until 2012 and contained an initial buyout clause of 30 million euros. A month later, on March 6, he made his debut for Barcelona B in the Segunda Division B, and his buyout clause automatically increased to 80 million euros. He played five games with the B team that season but did not score. Physically he was weaker than his opponents, who were often much older and taller, and in training he worked on increasing his muscle mass and overall strength in order to be able to shake off defenders. Towards the end of the season, he returned to both youth teams, helping the juveniles B win the league. He finished the campaign having scored for four of his five teams with a total of 36 goals in all official competitions. During the 2004-05 season, Messi was a guaranteed starter for the B team, playing 17 games throughout the campaign and scoring on six occasions. Since his debut the previous November, he had not been called up to the first team again, but in October 2004, 
the senior players asked manager Frank Ricard to promote him. Since Ronaldinho already played on the left wing, Ricard moved Messi from his usual position onto the right flank, though initially against the player's wishes, allowing him to cut into the center of the pitch and shoot with his dominant left foot. Messi made his league debut during the next match on October 16, against Espanyol at Estadi Olympic Luis Companies in Montjuic, coming on in the 82nd minute. At 17 years, 3 months, and 22 days old, he was at the time the youngest player to represent Barcelona in an official competition. As a substitute player, he played 244 minutes in 9 matches for the first team that season, including his debut in the UEFA Champions League against Shakhtar Donetsk. He scored his first senior goal on May 1, 2005, against Albacete, from an assist by Ronaldinho, becoming, at that time, the youngest ever scorer for the club. Barcelona, in their second season under Ricard, won the league for the first time in six years. On June 24, his 18th birthday, Messi signed his first contract as a senior team player. It made him a Barcelona player until 2010, two years less than his previous contract, but his buyout clause increased to 150 million euros. His breakthrough came two months later, on August 24, during the Joan Gamper Trophy, Barcelona's preseason competition. A starter for the first time, he gave a well-received performance against Fabio Capello's Juventus, receiving an ovation from the Camp Nou. Capello sought to take Messi to Juventus on loan, but Inter Milan offered to pay his €150 million Euros buyout clause and triple his wages. According to then-president Joan Laporta, it was the only time the club faced a real risk of losing Messi, but he ultimately decided to stay. On September 16, his contract was updated for the second time in three months and extended to 2014. Due to issues regarding his legal status in the Royal Spanish Football Federation, Messi missed the start of La Liga, but on September 26, he acquired Spanish citizenship and became eligible to play. Wearing the number 19 shirt, he gradually established himself as the first choice right winger, forming an attacking trio with Ronaldinho and striker Samuel Eto'o. He was in the starting lineup in major matches like his first Clásico against rivals Real Madrid on November 19, as well as Barcelona's away victory over Chelsea in the last 16 round of the Champions League, which came on back of an intense period of rivalry between the clubs leading a resentful Messi to state, we would rather play Arsenal, Manchester United or anyone else than be on the pitch with Chelsea. After he had scored eight goals in 25 games, including his first in the Champions League, in a 5-0 win over Panathinaikos on November 2, 2005, his season ended prematurely during the return leg against Chelsea on March 7, 2006, when he suffered a torn hamstring. Messi worked to regain fitness in time for the Champions League final, but on May 17, the day of the final, he was eventually ruled out. He was so disappointed that he did not celebrate his team's victory over Arsenal in Paris, something he later came to regret. While Barcelona began a gradual decline, the 19-year-old Messi established himself as one of the best players in the world during the 2006-07 campaign. Already an idol to the Culls, the club's supporters, he scored 17 goals in 36 games across all competitions. However, he continued to be plagued by major injuries, a metatarsal fracture sustained on November 12, 2006 kept him out of action for three months. He recovered in time for the last 16 round of the Champions League against Liverpool, but was effectively marked out of the game, Barcelona the reigning champions, were out of the competition. In the league, his goal contribution increased towards the end of the season, 11 of his 14 goals came from the last 13 games. On March 10, 2007, he scored his first hat-trick in a Clásico, the first player to do so in 12 years, equalizing after each goal by Real Madrid to end the match in a 3-3 draw in injury time. His growing importance to the club was reflected in a new contract, signed that month, which greatly increased his wages. 
Already frequently compared to compatriot Diego Maradona, Messi proved their similarity when he nearly replicated Maradona's two most famous goals in the span of seven weeks. During a Copa del Rey semi-final against Hetafe on April 18, he scored a goal remarkably similar to Maradona's second goal in the quarterfinals of the 1986 FIFA World Cup, known as the goal of the century. Messi collected the ball on the right side near the halfway line, ran 60 metres, 66 yd, and beat five defenders before scoring with an angled finish, just as Maradona had done. A league match against Espanyol on June 9 saw him score by launching himself at the ball and guiding it past the goalkeeper with his hand in similar fashion to Maradona's hand of God goal in the same World Cup match. As Messi continued his individual rise, Barcelona faltered, the team failed to reach the Copa del Rey final after Messi was rested during the second leg against Hetafe and lost the league to Real Madrid on head-to-head -head results. After Ronaldinho lost form, Messi became Barca's new star player at only 20 years old, receiving the nickname Messiah from the Spanish media. His efforts in 2007 also earned him award recognition, journalists voted him the third best player of the year for the 2007 Ballon d'Or, behind Kaka and runner-up Cristiano Ronaldo, while international managers and national team captains voted him second for the FIFA World Player of the Year award, again behind Kaka. Although he managed to score 16 goals during the 2007-08 campaign, the second half of his season was again marred by injuries after he suffered a torn hamstring on December 15. He returned to score twice in their away victory against Celtic in the last 16 round of the Champions League, becoming the competition's top scorer at that point with six goals, but reinjured himself during the return leg on March 4, 2008. Ricard had fielded him despite warning from the medical staff, leading captain Carlos Puyol to criticize the Spanish media for pressuring Messi to play every match. Barcelona finished the season without trophies, eliminated in the Champions League semi-finals by the eventual champions, Manchester United, and placed third in the league. After two unsuccessful seasons, Barcelona were in need of an overhaul, leading to the departure of Ricard and Ronaldinho. Upon the latter's departure, Messi was given the number 10 shirt. He signed a new contract in July with an annual salary of 7.8 million euros, becoming the club's highest paid player. Ahead of the new season, a major concern remained his frequent muscular injuries, which had left him sidelined for a total of eight months between 2006 and 2008. To combat the problem, the club implemented new training, nutrition, and lifestyle regimens, and assigned him a personal physiotherapist, who would travel with him during call UPS for the Argentina national team. As a result, Messi remained virtually injury-free during the next four years, allowing him to reach his full potential. Despite his injuries early in the year, his performances in 2008 saw him again voted runner-up for the Ballon d'Or and the FIFA World Player of the Year award both times behind Cristiano Ronaldo. In his first uninterrupted campaign, the 2008-09 season, he scored 38 goals in 51 games, contributing alongside Ido O and winger Thierry Henry to a total of 100 goals in all competitions, a record at the time for the club. During his first season under Barcelona's new manager, former captain Pep Guardiola, Messi played mainly on the right wing, like he had under Ricard, though this time as a false winger with the freedom to cut inside and roam the center. During the Clásico on May 2, 2009, however, he played for the first time as a false nine, positioned as a center forward but dropping deep into midfield to link up with Xavi and Andres Iniesta. He set up his side's first goal and scored twice to end the match in an emphatic 6-2 victory, the team's greatest ever score at Real Madrid's Santiago Bernabeu Stadium. Returning to the wing, he played his first final since breaking into the first team on May 13, scoring once and assisting a second goal as Barcelona defeated Athletic Bilbao 4-1 to win the Copa del Rey. With 23 league goals from Messi that season, Barcelona became La Liga champions three days later and achieved its fifth double. As the season's Champions League top scorer with nine goals, the youngest in the tournament's history, 
Messi scored two goals and assisted two more to ensure a 4-0 quarter-final victory over Bayern Munich. He returned as a false nine during the final on May 27 in Rome against Manchester United. Barcelona were crowned champions of Europe by winning the match 2-0, the second goal coming from a Messi header over goalkeeper Edwin van der Sar. Barcelona thus achieved the first treble in the history of Spanish football. This success was reflected in a new contract, signed on September 18, which committed Messi to the club through 2016 with a new buyout clause of €250 million, Euros, while his salary increased to €12 million. Euros. His team's prosperity continued into the second half of 2009, as Barcelona became the first club to achieve the sextuple, winning six top-tier trophies in a single year. After victories in the Supercopa de España and UEFA Super Cup in August, Barcelona won the FIFA Club World Cup against Estudiantes de la Plata on December 19, with Messi scoring the winning 2-1 goal with his chest. At 22 years old, Messi won the Ballon d'Or and the FIFA World Player of the Year award, both times by the biggest voting margin in each trophy's history. The new year, however, started on a less positive note for Barcelona, as they were knocked out of the Copa del Rey by Sevilla in the round of 16. Unsatisfied with his position on the right wing, with the club's summer acquisitions Leighton Ibrahimovic occupying the central forward role, Messi resumed playing as a false nine in early 2010, beginning with a Champions League last 16-round match against VfB Stuttgart. After a first-leg draw, Barcelona won the second leg 4-0 with two goals and an assist from Messi. At that point, he effectively became the tactical focal point of Guardiola's team, and his goal-scoring rate increased. Messi scored a total of 47 goals in all competitions that season, equaling Ronaldo's club record from the 1996-97 campaign. He scored all of his side's four goals in the Champions League quarter-final against Arsenal on April 6 while becoming Barcelona's all-time top scorer in the competition. Although Barcelona were eliminated in the Champions League semi-finals by the eventual champions, Inter Milan, Messi finished the season as top scorer, with eight goals, for the second consecutive year. As the league's top scorer with 34 goals, again tying Ronaldo's record, he helped Barcelona win a second consecutive La Liga trophy with only a single defeat and earned his first European golden shoe. Messi secured Barcelona's first trophy of the 2010-11 campaign, the Supercopa de España, by scoring a hat-trick in his side's second leg 4-0 victory over Sevilla, after a first-leg defeat. Assuming a playmaking role, he was again instrumental in a Clásico on November 29, 2010, the first with José Mourinho in charge of Real Madrid, as Barcelona defeated their rivals 5-0. Messi helped the team achieve 16 consecutive league victories, a record in Spanish football, concluding with another hat-trick against Atletico Madrid on February 5, 2011. His club performances in 2010 earned him the inaugural FIFA Ballon d'Or, an amalgamation of the Ballon d'Or and the FIFA World Player of the Year award, though his win was met with some criticism due to his lack of success with Argentina at the 2010 FIFA World Cup. Under the award's old format, he would have placed just outside the top three, owing his win to the votes from the international coaches and captains. Towards the end of the season, Barcelona played four Clásicos in the span of 18 days. A league match on April 16 ended in a draw after a penalty from Messi. After Barcelona lost the Copa del Rey final four days later, Messi scored both goals in his side's 2-0 win in the first leg of the Champions League semi-finals in Madrid, the second of which, a slaloming dribble past three real players, was acclaimed as one of the best ever in the competition. Although he did not score, he was again important in the second leg draw that sent Barcelona through to the Champions League final, where they faced Manchester United in a repeat of the final two years. Earlier as the competition's top scorer for the third consecutive year, with 12 goals, Messi gave a man-of-the-match performance at Wembley on May 28, scoring the match-winning goal of Barca's 3-1 victory. Barcelona won a third consecutive La Liga title. In addition to his 31 goals, 
Messi was also the league's top assist provider with 18. He finished the season with 53 goals in all competitions, becoming Barcelona's all time single season top scorer and the first player in Spanish football to reach the 50 goal benchmark. As Messi developed into a combination of a number 8, a creator, a 9, scorer, and a 10, assistant, he scored an unprecedented 73 goals and provided 29 assists in all club competitions during the 2011-12 season, producing a hat-trick or more on 10 occasions. He began the campaign by helping Barcelona win both the Spanish and European Super Cups, in the Supercopa de España, he scored three times to achieve a 5-4 aggregate victory over Real Madrid, overtaking Raúl as the competition's all-time top scorer with eight goals. At the close of the year, on December 18, he scored twice in the FIFA Club World Cup final, a 4-0 victory over Santos, earning the golden ball as the best player of the tournament, as he had done two years previously. For his efforts in 2011, he again received the FIFA Ballon d'Or, becoming only the fourth player in history to win the Ballon d'Or three times, after Yuan Cruyff, Michel Platini and Marco van Basten. Additionally, he won the inaugural UEFA Best Player in Europe Award, a revival of the old-style Ballon d'Or. By then, Messi was already widely considered one of the best footballers in history, alongside players like Diego Maradona and Pelé. As Messi maintained his goal-scoring form into the second half of the season, the year 2012 saw him break several long-standing records. On March 7, two weeks after scoring four goals in a league fixture against Valencia, he scored five times in a Champions League last 16-round match against Bayer Leverkusen, an unprecedented achievement in the history of the competition. In addition to being the joint top assist provider with five assists, this feat made him top scorer with 14 goals, tying Jose Altafini's record from the 1962-63 season, as well as becoming only the second player after Gerd Müller to be top scorer in four campaigns. Two weeks later, on March 20, Messi became the top goal scorer in Barcelona's history at 24 years old, overtaking the 57-year record of César Rodríguez's 232 goals with a hat-trick against Granada. Despite Messi's individual form, Barcelona's four-year cycle of success under Guardiola, one of the greatest eras in the club's history, drew to an end. Although Barcelona won the Copa del Rey against Athletic Bilbao on May 25, its 14th title of that period, the team lost the league to Real Madrid and was eliminated in the Champions League semi-finals by the eventual champions, Chelsea, with Messi sending a crucial second leg penalty kick against the crossbar. In Barca's last home league match on May 5, against Espanyol, Messi scored all four goals before approaching the bench to embrace Guardiola, who had announced his resignation as manager. He finished the season as league top scorer in Spain and Europe for a second time, with 50 goals, a La Liga record, while his 73 goals in all competitions surpassed Gerd Müller's 67 goals in the 1972-73 Bundesliga season making him the single-season top scorer in the history of European club football. Under manager Tito Villanova, who had first coached him aged 14 at La Masia, Messi helped the club achieve its best-ever start to a La Liga season during the second half of 2012, amassing 55 points by the competition's midway point, a record in Spanish football. A double scored on December 9 against Real Betis saw Messi break two long-standing records, he surpassed César Rodríguez's record of 190 league goals, becoming Barcelona's all-time top scorer in La Liga, and Gerd Müller's record of most goals scored in a calendar year, overtaking his 85 goals scored in 1972 for Bayern Munich and West Germany. Messi sent Müller a number 10 Barcelona shirt, signed with respect and admiration, after breaking his 40-year record. At the close of the year, Messi had scored a record 91 goals in all competitions for Barcelona and Argentina. Although FIFA did not acknowledge the achievement, citing verifiability issues, he received the Guinness World Records title for most goals scored in a calendar year. As the odds-on favorite, Messi again won the FIFA Ballon d'Or, 
becoming the only player in history to win the Ballon d'Or four times. Barcelona had virtually secured their La Liga title by the start of 2013, eventually equaling Real Madrid's 100-point record of the previous season. However, their performances deteriorated in the second half of the 2012-13 campaign, concurrently with Villanova's absence due to ill health. After losing successive Clásicos, including the Copa del Rey semi-finals, they were nearly eliminated in the first knockout round of the Champions League by AC Milan, but a revival of form in the second leg led to a 4-0 comeback, with two goals and an assist from Messi. Now in his ninth senior season with Barcelona, Messi signed a new contract on February 7, committing himself to the club through 2018, while his fixed wage rose to 13 million euros. He wore the captain's armband for the first time a month later, on March 17, in a league match against Rayo Vallecano, by then, he had become the team's tactical focal point to a degree that was arguably rivaled only by former Barcelona players Josep Samitir, Laszlo Kubala and Juan Cruyff. Since his evolution into a false nine three years earlier, his input into the team's attack had increased, from 24% in their treble winning campaign, his goal contribution rose to more than 40% that season. After four largely injury-free seasons, the muscular injuries that had previously plagued Messi reoccurred. After he suffered a hamstring strain on April 2, during the first quarter-final against Paris Saint-Germain, PSG, his appearances became sporadic. In the second leg against PSG, with an underperforming Barcelona down a goal, Messi came off the bench in the second half and within nine minutes helped create their game-tying goal, which allowed them to progress to the semi-finals. Still unfit, he proved ineffective during the first leg against Bayern Munich and was unable to play at all during the second, as Barcelona were defeated 7-0 on aggregate by the eventual champions. These matches gave credence to the notion of Messi dependencia, Barcelona's perceived tactical and psychological dependence on their star player. Messi continued to struggle with injury throughout 2013, eventually parting ways with his longtime personal physiotherapist. Further damage to his hamstring sustained on May 12 ended his goal-scoring streak of 21 consecutive league games, a worldwide record, he had netted 33 goals during his run including a four-goal display against Osasuna, while becoming the first player to score consecutively against all 19 opposition teams in La Liga. With 60 goals in all competitions, including 46 goals in La Liga, he finished the campaign as league top scorer in Spain and Europe for the second consecutive year, becoming the first player in history to win the European Golden Shoe three times. Following an irregular start to the new season under manager Gerardo Martino, formerly of his boyhood club Newell's Old Boys, Messi suffered his fifth injury of 2013 when he tore his hamstring on November 10, leaving him sidelined for two months. Despite his injuries, he was voted runner-up for the FIFA Ballon d'Or, relinquishing the award after a four-year monopoly to Cristiano Ronaldo. During the second half of the 2013-14 season, doubts persisted over Messi's form, leading to a perception among the culls that he was reserving himself for the 2014 FIFA World Cup. Statistically, his contribution of goals, shots and passes had dropped significantly compared to previous seasons. He still managed to break two long-standing records in a span of seven days, a hat-trick on March 16 against Osasuna saw him overtake Paulino Alcantara's 369 goals to become Barcelona's top goalscorer in all competitions including friendlies, while another hat-trick against Real Madrid on March 23 made him the all-time top scorer in El Clasico, ahead of the 18 goals scored by former Real Madrid player Alfredo Di Stefano. Messi finished the campaign with his worst output in five seasons, though he still managed to score 41 goals in all competitions. For the first time in five years, Barcelona ended the season without a major trophy, they were defeated in the Copa del Rey final by Real Madrid and lost the league in the last game to Atletico Madrid, causing Messi to be booed by sections of fans at the Camp Nou. After prolonged speculation over his future with the club, Messi signed a new contract on May 19, 2014, 
only a year after his last contractual update, his salary increased to 20 million euros, or 36 million euros before taxes, the highest wage in the sport. It was reported that Villanova played a key role in convincing Messi to stay amid strong interest from Jose Mourinho's Chelsea. Under new manager and former captain Luis Enrique, Messi experienced a largely injury free start to the 2014 15 season, allowing him to break three more long standing records towards the end of the year. A hat trick scored against Sevilla on November 22 made him the all time top scorer in La Liga as he surpassed the 59-year record of 251 league goals held by Telmo Zera. A third hat-trick, scored against City rivals Espanyol on December 7, allowed him to surpass Cesar Rodriguez as the all-time top scorer in the Derby Barcelona with 12 goals. Messi again placed second in the FIFA Ballon d'Or behind Cristiano Ronaldo, largely owing to his second-place achievement with Argentina at the World Cup. At the start of 2015, Barcelona were perceived to be headed for another disappointing end to the season, with renewed speculation in the media that Messi was leaving the club. A turning point came on January 11 during a 3-1 victory over Atletico Madrid, the first time Barca's attacking trident of Messi, Luis Suarez and Neymar, dubbed MSN, each scored in a match marking the beginning of a highly successful run. After five years of playing in the center of the pitch, Messi had returned to his old position on the right wing late the previous year, by his own suggestion according to Suarez, their striker. From there, he regained his best form, while Suarez and Neymar ended the team's attacking dependency on their star player. With 58 goals from Messi, the trio scored a total of 122 goals in all competitions that season, a record in Spanish football. Towards the end of the campaign, Messi scored in a 1-0 away win over Atletico Madrid on May 17, securing the La Liga title. Among his 43 league goals that season was a hat-trick scored in 11 minutes against Rayo Vallecano on March 8, the fastest of his senior career. It was his 32nd hat-trick overall for Barcelona, allowing him to overtake Telmo Zero with the most hat-tricks in Spanish football. As the season's top assist provider with 18 he surpassed Luis Figo with the most assists in La Liga, he made his record 106th assist in a fixture against Levant on February 15, in which he also scored a hat-trick. Messi scored twice as Barcelona defeated Athletic Bilbao 3-1 in the Copa del Rey final on May 30, achieving the sixth double in their history. His opening goal was hailed as one of the greatest in his career, he collected the ball near the halfway line and beat four opposing players, before feinting the goalkeeper to score in a tight space by the near post. In the Champions League, Messi scored twice and set up another in their 3-0 semi-final victory over Bayern Munich now under the stewardship of Guardiola. His second goal, which came only three minutes after his first, saw him chip the ball over goalkeeper Manuel Neuer after his dribble past Jerome Boateng had made the defender drop to the ground, it went viral, becoming the year's most tweeted about sporting moment, and was named the best goal of the season by UEFA. Despite a second leg loss, Barcelona progressed to the final on June 6 in Berlin, where they defeated Juventus 3-1 to win their second treble, becoming the first team in history to do so. Although Messi did not score, he participated in each of his side's goals, particularly the second as he forced a parried save from goalkeeper Gianluigi Buffon from which Suarez scored the match-winning goal on the rebound. In addition to being the top assist provider with six assists, Messi finished the competition as the joint top scorer with ten goals, which earned him the distinction of being the first player ever to achieve the top scoring mark in five Champions League seasons. For his efforts during the season, he received the UEFA Best Player in Europe award for a second time. Messi opened the 2015-16 season by scoring twice from free kicks in Barcelona's 5-4 victory, after extra time, over Sevilla in the UEFA Super Cup. On September 16, he became the youngest player to make 100 appearances in the UEFA Champions League in a 1-1 away draw to Roma. After a knee injury, he returned to the pitch on November 21, making a substitute appearance in Barcelona's 4-0 away win over rivals Real Madrid in El Clasico. 
Messi capped off the year by winning the 2015 FIFA Club World Cup final on December 20, collecting his fifth club trophy of 2015 as Barcelona defeated River Plate 3-0 in Yokohama. On December 30, Messi scored on his 500th appearance for Barcelona, in a 4-0 home win over Real Betis. On January 11, 2016, Messi won the FIFA Ballon d'Or for a record fifth time in his career. On February 3, he scored a hat-trick in Barcelona's 7-0 win against Valencia in the first leg of the Copa del Rey semi-final at the Camp Nou. In a 6-1 home win against Celta Vigo in the league, Messi assisted Suarez from a penalty kick. Some saw it as a touch of genius, while others criticized it as being disrespectful to the opponent. The Celta players never complained and their coach defended the penalty, stating, Barca's forwards are very respectful. The penalty routine has been compared to that of Barca icon Yuan Cruyff in 1982, who was battling lung cancer, leading many fans to indicate that the penalty was a tribute to him. Cruyff himself was very happy with the play, insisting it was legal and entertaining. On February 17, Messi reached his 300th league goal in a 3-1 away win against Sporting de Gijón. A few days later, he scored both goals in Barcelona's 2-0 win against Arsenal at the Emirates Stadium, in the first leg of the 2015-16 UEFA Champions League round of 16, with the second goal being Barcelona's 10,000th in official competitions. On April 17, Messi ended a five-match scoring drought with his 500th senior career goal for club and country in Barcelona's 2-1 home loss to Valencia. Messi finished the 2015-16 season by setting up both goals in Barcelona's 2-0 extra-time win over Sevilla in the 2016 Copa del Rey final, at the Vicente Calderón Stadium, on May 22, 2016, as the club celebrated winning the domestic double for the second consecutive season. In total, Messi scored 41 goals as Barcelona's attacking trio managed a Spanish record of 131 goals throughout the season, breaking the record they had set the previous season. 2016-17, fourth golden boot edit. Messi opened the 2016-17 season by lifting the 2016 Supercopa de España as Barcelona's captain in the absence of the injured Andres Iniesta, he set up Munir's goal in a 2-0 away win over Sevilla in the first leg on August 14, and subsequently scored in a 3-0 win in the return leg on August 17. Three days later, he scored two goals as Barcelona won 6-2 against Real Betis in the opening game of the 2016-17 La Liga season. On September 13, Messi scored his first hat-trick of the season in the opening game of the 2016-17 UEFA Champions League campaign against Celtic in a 7-0 victory, this was also Messi's sixth hat-trick in the Champions League, the most by any player. A week later, Messi sustained a groin injury in a 1-1 draw against Atletico Madrid and was ruled out with injury for three weeks. He marked his return with a goal, scoring three minutes after coming off the bench in a 4-0 home win over Deportivo de La Coruna, on October 16. Three days after this, he netted his 37th club hat-trick as Barcelona defeated Manchester City 4-0. On November 1, Messi scored his 54th Champions League group stage goal in Barcelona's 3-1 away loss to Manchester City, surpassing the previous record of 53 goals held by Raúl. Messi finished the year with 51 goals, making him Europe's top scorer, one ahead of Zlatan Ibrahimovic. After placing second in the 2016 Ballon d'Or, on January 9, 2017 Messi also finished in second place, behind Cristiano Ronaldo once again, in the 2016 Best FIFA Men's Player Award. On January 11, Messi scored from a free kick in Barcelona's 3-1 victory against Athletic Bilbao in the second leg of the round of 16 of the Copa del Rey, which enabled Barcelona to advance to the quarterfinals of the competition, with his 26th goal from a free kick for Barcelona in all competitions, he equaled the club's all-time record, which had previously been set by Ronald Koeman. In his next league match, on January 14, 
Messi scored in a 5-0 win against Las Palmas, with this goal, he equaled Raul's record for the most teams scored against in La Liga, 35. On February 4, 2017, Messi scored his 27th free kick for Barcelona in a 3-0 home win over Athletic Bilbao in the league, overtaking Koeman as the club's all-time top scorer from free kicks. On April 23, Messi scored twice in a 3-2 away win over Real Madrid. His game-winning goal in stoppage time was his 500th for Barcelona. His memorable celebration saw him taking off his Barcelona shirt and holding it up to incensed Real Madrid fans, with his name and number facing the crowd. On May 27, Messi scored a goal and set up another for Paco Alcacer in the 2017 Copa del Rey final, helping Barcelona to a 3-1 victory over Alaves, and was named man of the match. In total, Messi finished the 2016-17 season with 54 goals, while his 37 goals in La Liga saw him claim both the Pichichi and European Golden Boot awards for the fourth time in his career. Messi opened the 2017-18 season by converting a penalty in Barcelona's 1-3 first leg home defeat to Real Madrid in Supercopa de España. Thereby, Messi also extended his El Clásico goal-scoring record with the goal being his 24th official and 25th overall. On September 9, Messi scored his first hat-trick of the 2017-18 league campaign, against Espanyol in Derby Barcelona, thus helping to secure a 5-0 home victory for Blaugrana over local rivals. Messi netted twice against Gianluigi Buffon, on September 12, as Barca defeated the last season's Italian champions Juventus 3-0 at home in the UEFA Champions League. On September 19, Messi found the net four times in a 6-1 trashing of Ibar at the Camp Nou in La Liga. Three weeks later, on October 1, Messi surpassed his former teammate Carles Puyol to become the third highest appearance maker in the club's history, as he helped Barca defeat Las Palmas 3-0 by assisting Sergio Busquets opener and later adding to himself in his 594th official game for the club, the league game was played behind closed doors at the Camp Nou due to violence in Catalonia relating to an ongoing independence referendum. On October 18, in his 122nd European club appearance, Messi scored his 97th UEFA Champions League goal, and his 100th in all UEFA club competitions, in a 3-1 home victory over Olympiacos. Messi became only the second player after Cristiano Ronaldo to reach the century milestone, but accomplished it in 21 fewer appearances than the Portuguese counterpart. On November 4, he made his 600th appearance for Barcelona in a 2-1 home win over Sevilla in La Liga. Following the reception of his fourth golden boot, Messi signed a new deal with Barcelona on November 25th, keeping him with the club through the 2020-21 season. His buyout clause was set at 700 million euros. On January 7, 2018, Messi made his 400th La Liga appearance with Barcelona in a 3-0 home win over Levant, marking the occasion with his 144th league assist and 365th league goal for the club the latter of which saw him equal Gerd Müller's record for the most league goals scored for the same club in one of Europe's top five divisions. A week later, he broke the record, scoring his 366th La Liga goal from a free kick in a 4-2 away win against Real Sociedad. On March 4, he scored his 600th senior career goal from a free kick in a 1-0 home win over Atletico Madrid, in La Liga. On March 14, Messi scored his 99th and 100th Champions League goals in a 3-0 home win over Chelsea, becoming only the second player after Cristiano Ronaldo to reach this landmark, in fewer appearances, at a younger age and having taken fewer shots than his Portuguese counterpart. His opening goal, which came after only 2 minutes and 8 seconds, was also the fastest of his career as Barcelona advanced to the quarter-finals of the competition for the 11th consecutive season. On April 7, he scored a hat-trick in a 3-1 win over Leganés including his sixth goal scored from a free kick for the season, matching the record set by former teammate Ronaldinho. On April 10, 
following as Roma come back against Barcelona in Champions League quarter-final by overturning a 4-1 deficit to progress to the semi-final with a 3-0 win at home, Messi was criticised for being absent during the game after being dispossessed seven times during the match, the most during the campaign. He once again finished the season as the top scorer in La Liga, with 34 goals, which also saw him win his fifth Golden Shoe award. On April 21, Messi scored Barcelona's second goal, his 40th of the season, in a 5-0 win over Sevilla in the 2018 Copa del Rey final, later also setting up Suarez's second goal, this was Barcelona's fourth consecutive title and their 30th overall. On April 29, Messi scored a hat-trick in a 4-2 away win over Deportivo de la Coruna, which saw Barcelona claim their 25th league title. On May 9, Messi scored as Barcelona defeated Villarreal 5-1 to set the longest unbeaten streak, 43 games, in La Liga history. With the departure of former captain Andres Iniesta in May 2018, Messi was named the team's new captain for the following season. On August 12, he lifted his first title as Barcelona's captain, the Supercopa de España, following a 2-1 victory over Sevilla. On August 19, Messi scored twice in helping Barcelona defeat Alaves 3-0 in their first La Liga match of the season, with his first goal, a free kick that he rolled under the jumping Alaves wall, making history in being Barcelona's 6,000th goal in La Liga. On September 18, Messi scored a hat-trick in a 4-0 home win over PSV Eindhoven in Barcelona's opening Champions League group stage match of the season, setting a new record for most hat-tricks in the competition, with eight. On October 20, Messi scored in a 4-2 home win over Sevilla, but was later forced off in the 26th minute after falling awkwardly and injuring his right arm, tests later confirmed that he had fractured his radial bone, ruling him out for approximately three weeks. On December 8, Messi scored two free kicks, his ninth and tenth goals from set pieces during the calendar year, in a 4-0 away win over Derby Barcelona rivals Espanyol in La Liga, this was the first time ever that he had managed such a feat in the league. His first goal was also his tenth league goal of the season, making him the first player ever to reach double figures in La Liga for 13 consecutive seasons. On January 13, 2019, Messi scored his 400th La Liga goal in his 435th league appearance in a 3-0 home win over Ibar, becoming the first player ever to manage this tally in just one of Europe's top five leagues. On February 2, Messi scored twice in a 2-2 draw against Valencia, with his first goal coming from the penalty spot, his 50th La Liga penalty goal, as such, he became only the third player in La Liga history after Cristiano Ronaldo and Hugo Sanchez to score 50 penalties in the competition. Later that month, the club admitted they had begun preparations for Messi's future retirement. On February 23, Messi scored the 50th hat-trick of his career and also provided an assist for Suarez, as he helped Barcelona come from behind to achieve a 4-2 away victory over Sevilla in La Liga. The goal was also his 650th career goal for club and country at senior level. On April 16, Messi scored twice in a 3-0 home victory over Manchester United in the second leg of the Champions League quarterfinals to give Barcelona a 4-0 aggregate win, which saw Barcelona progress to the semi-finals of the competition for the first time since 2015. These were also his first goals in the Champions League quarterfinals since 2013. On April 27, Messi came off the bench and scored the only goal in a 1-0 home win over Levant, which allowed Barcelona to clinch the league title, this was his 450th La Liga appearance, and his first league title as Barcelona's captain. On May 1, Messi scored twice in a 3-0 home win over Liverpool in the first leg of the Champions League semi-finals, his second goal of the match, a 35-yard free kick was the 600th senior club goal of his career, all of which had been scored with Barcelona. In the return leg six days later at Anfield, Barcelona suffered a 4-0 away defeat, which saw Liverpool advance to the final 4-3 on aggregate with Messi criticised again for going missing. 
On May 19, in Barcelona's final La Liga match of the season, Messi scored twice in a 2-2 away draw against Ibar, his 49th and 50th goals of the season in all competitions, which saw him capture his sixth Pichichi trophy as the league's top scorer, with 36 goals in 34 appearances, with six titles, he equaled Zera as the player with the most top scorer awards in La Liga. He also captured his sixth Golden Shoe award, and a record third consecutive award since the 2016-17 season. On May 25th, Messi scored his final goal of the season in a 2-1 defeat to Valencia in the 2019 Copa del Rey final. On August 5, 2019, it was announced that Messi would miss Barcelona's US tour after sustaining a right calf injury. On August 19, Messi's chipped goal from the edge of the box against Real Betis was nominated for the 2019 FIFA Puskas Award. Later that month, he suffered another setback following the return of his calf injury, which ruled him out of the opening game of the season, as a result, he was sidelined indefinitely, and was only expected to return to action with Barcelona after the September international break. On September 2, Messi was shortlisted as one of the three finalists for both the 2019 FIFA Puskas Award and the 2019 Best FIFA Men's Player Award, with Messi winning the latter on September 23. Messi made his first appearance of the season on September 17, and on October 6 he scored his first goal of the season with a free kick in a 4-0 home win over Sevilla, this was his 420th goal in La Liga which saw him break Cristiano Ronaldo's record of 419 goals scored in Europe's top five leagues. On October 23, Messi scored his first Champions League goal of the season in a 2-1 away win over Slavia Prague, becoming the first player to score in 15 consecutive Champions League seasons, excluding qualifying rounds. He also equaled Raul and Cristiano Ronaldo's shared record of the most sides scored against in the competition, 33. On October 29, Messi scored in a 5 1 home win over Real Valladolid in La Liga. His first goal, a set piece from 35 yards, was the 50th free kick of his career. His goals, 608, also saw him overtake Cristiano Ronaldo's senior goal tally, 606, at club level. On November 9, Messi scored three goals, including two free kicks in a 4-1 home win against Celta Vigo. This was his 34th hat-trick in La Liga, equaling Cristiano Ronaldo's Spanish top-flight record. On November 27, in what was his 700th appearance for Barcelona, Messi scored one goal and assisted two more in a 3-1 home win over Borussia Dortmund in the UEFA Champions League. Dortmund were the 34th team he had scored against in the competition, breaking the previous record of 33 held by Cristiano Ronaldo and Raul. On December 2, Messi was awarded a record-breaking 6th Ballon d'Or. On December 8, Messi scored his record-breaking 35th hat-trick in La Liga with three goals in Barcelona's 5-2 home win over Mallorca. On February 22, 2020, Messi scored four goals in a 5-0 home win over Ibar in La Liga. On June 14, he scored in a 4-0 away win against Mallorca, becoming the first player ever in La Liga to score 20 goals or more in 12 consecutive seasons. On June 30, he scored a Panenxa in a 2-2 home draw against Atletico Madrid in La Liga, to reach his 700th goal in his senior career for Barcelona and Argentina. On July 11, Messi provided his 20th assist of the league season for Arturo Vidal in a 1-0 away win over Real Valladolid equaling Xavi's record of 20 assists in a single La Liga season from 2008 to 2009, with 22 goals, he also became only the second player ever, after Thierry Henry in the 2002-03 FA Premier League season with Arsenal, 24 goals and 20 assists, to record at least 20 goals and 20 assists in a single league season in one of Europe's top five leagues. Following his brace in a 5-0 away win against Alaves in the final match of the season on May 20, Messi finished the season as both the top scorer and top assist provider in La Liga, with 25 goals and 21 assists respectively, 
which saw him win his record seventh Pichichi trophy, overtaking Zera, however, Barcelona missed out on the league title to Real Madrid. On August 9, in the Champions League round of 16 second leg versus Napoli at the Camp Nou, Messi scored the second goal and earned a penalty which led to a third goal and led his side to a 3-1 home victory and qualified 4-2 on aggregate for the quarter-finals against Bayern Munich. On August 15, Messi suffered his worst defeat as a player as Bayern Munich beat Barcelona 8-2 in a one-off tie in Lisbon, leading to another disappointing exit from the Champions League. Following growing dissatisfaction with the direction of Barcelona on and off the field, Barcelona announced that Messi sent the club a document expressing his desire to leave on August 25, 2020. The announcement garnered a significant media response, including from current and former teammates, who supported Messi's statement, and Catalan president Quim Torra. On August 26, Barcelona's sporting director Ramon Planes iterated the club's desire to build a team around the most important player in the world and affirmed Messi will only be able to leave should a buyer pay his 700 million euros buyout clause, a reported early termination option available in Messi's contract, which would have allowed him to leave the club for free, could only be exercised if he had communicated his decision to Barcelona by May 31, 2020, although the player's representatives argued the deadline should be set to August 31st, due to the adjourned 2019-20 season. On August 30th, La Liga issued a statement stating Messi's contract and buyout clause were still active. On September 4th, Jorge Messi, Lionel's father and agent, released a statement in response to La Liga claiming the release clause is not valid when the termination of the contract is by the player's unilateral decision from the end of the 2019-20 season, as stated in Messi's contract with Barcelona, moments later, La Liga issued a response reiterating their statement published on August 30. Later that evening, Messi announced in an interview with Goal that he would continue at Barcelona for the final year of his contract. In the interview, Messi claimed to have informed Barcelona of his desire to leave multiple times, and club president Josep Maria Bartomeu said Messi could decide at the end of every season if he wanted to stay or leave, only for Bartomeu to refer to the release clause. This left Messi with two options, to stay or go to court against the club, with the player saying I would never go to court against the club of my life. On September 27, Messi began the 2020-21 season by scoring a penalty in a 4-0 home win against Villarreal in La Liga. Two days prior to the opening game, he again criticized the club, this time for the manner of Luis Suarez's departure, stating, at this stage nothing surprises me anymore. On October 20, Messi scored a penalty in a 5-1 home victory against Ferenc Veros in the Champions League becoming the first player in history to score in 16 consecutive Champions League seasons. On November 25, Messi was nominated for the 2020 Best FIFA Men's Player Award, and was later shortlisted as one of the final three candidates. On November 29, Messi scored his side's fourth goal in their 4-0 victory over Osasuna. After scoring, he unveiled a shirt of his former side Newell's Old Boys, in tribute to Argentine compatriot Diego Maradona, who had died four days earlier, and raised both hands to the screen showing Maradona's face in the stadium. The shirt was a number 10 replica of the same one Maradona had worn during his stint with the club in 1993. On December 17, Messi finished third in the Best FIFA Men's Player Award behind Robert Lewandowski and Cristiano Ronaldo, and was included in the FIFA FIF Pro World 11 for the 14th consecutive year. On December 23, Messi scored his 644th goal for Barcelona against Real Valladolid in La Liga, surpassing Pelé with Santos as the player with the most goals scored for a single club. In order to celebrate his achievement, Budweiser sent personalized bottles of beer to every goalkeeper whom Messi has scored against. On January 17, 2021, Messi was sent off for the first time in his club career for violent conduct, swinging an arm at the head of Azir Villalabra, missed initially by the referee but reviewed via VAR, 
in the final minutes of Barcelona's 2-3 extra time defeat to Athletic Bilbao in the 2020-21 Supercopa de España final. On March 10, Messi scored from 35 yards out and later had a penalty saved in a 1-1 draw against Paris Saint-Germain at the Parc des Princes in the second leg of the Champions League round of 16 as Barcelona were eliminated at this stage for the first time in 14 years by an aggregate score of 2-5 after having lost 1-4 at home on February 16, with Messi scoring Barcelona's only goal in that game. On March 15, Messi scored two goals in a 4-1 win against Huesca, and became the first player in history to score at least 20 goals in 13 consecutive seasons in the top five European leagues. On March 21, he surpassed Xavi's record to reach a club record of 768 appearances, in which he also scored a brace in a 6-1 away win against Real Sociedad. On April 17, Messi scored twice as Barcelona defeated Athletic Bilbao 4-0 in the 2021 Copa del Rey final. With his second goal, he broke Gerd Müller's record of 30-plus goals in 12 consecutive club seasons, setting a new record of 13. With his 35th trophy with Barcelona, Messi also overtook former Manchester United winger Ryan Giggs as the most decorated footballer for a single club. On May 16, Messi scored his 30th league goal of the campaign in a 1-2 home defeat against Celta Vigo, which later turned out to be his final goal and match in a Barcelona shirt. The top goal scorer in La Liga, Messi received the Pichichi Trophy for a record eighth time in his career. It was also his record fifth consecutive win in La Liga, surpassing Alfredo Di Stefano and Hugo Sanchez, who both had four for Real Madrid. On July 1, Messi became a free agent after his contract expired with negotiations on a new deal complicated due to financial issues at Barcelona. On August 5, Barcelona announced that Messi would not be staying at the club, even though both parties reached an agreement and were due to sign a contract that day. The club cited financial and structural obstacles posed by La Liga regulations as a reason for Messi's departure. Club president Joan Laporta also blamed the previous board for Messi's exit by saying the basis of everything is the calamitous and disastrous situation left by the previous board, he added by saying the expected debt is much higher and we had some sports contracts in place that meant we had no margin on salary. Point three days later, in a tearful press conference held at the Camp Nou, Messi confirmed that he would be leaving Barcelona. On August 10, Messi joined French club Paris Saint-Germain, PSG. He signed a two-year deal until June 2023 with an option for an extra year. Messi chose 30 as his squad number, the same he wore as a teenager when he made his senior debut for Barcelona. Messi made his debut for the club on August 29, coming on as a substitute in the second half of a 2-0 away win over Reims in Ligue 1. He made his first start and Champions League debut for the club in a 1-1 away draw against Club Brugge on 15 September. Point four days later, Messi made his home debut for PSG in a 2-1 win over Lyon. On September 28, he scored his first goal for the club, a strike from the edge of the 18-yard box in a 2-0 Champions League group stage win over former manager Pep Guardiola's Manchester City. On November 21, Messi scored his first Ligue 1 goal in a 3-1 home victory over Nantes. Later that month, he provided a hat-trick of assists for the fifth time in his career as PSG beat Saint-Étienne 3-1 away from home. Having scored 40 goals at club and international level for the calendar year and helped Argentina win the 2021 Copa America, Messi received a record seventh Ballon d'Or on November 29. On January 2, 2022, PSG announced that Messi had tested positive for COVID-19, missing two league games and a cup game as a result. He made his return against on January 23 in the league against Reims where he came on as a substitute in the second half and assisted PSG's third goal in a 4-0 home victory. On March 13, following their Champions League elimination against Real Madrid in the round of 16, Messi and his teammate Neymar were booed by some of the PSG fans at the Parc des Princes in the league match against Bordeaux. Then PSG manager Mauricio Pochettino defended Messi by saying to judge Messi in this way is unfair, adding it was a year of learning, 
and not just on a professional level coming to Paris Saint-Germain, in a new league and with new teammates, but also on a family level. On April 23, he helped PSG clinch their 10th League One title after scoring from a strike outside the 18-yard box in a 1-1 draw against Lens at home. Messi finished his debut season with 11 goals and 14 assists across all competitions. He failed to reach double-figure league goals for the first time since 2005, 06, ending the campaign with 6. After adjusting to his new surroundings and settling in Paris, under new coach Christophe Galtier, Messi returned to his preferred free attacking role, being placed in his favoured position as the playmaker behind two strikers, in an attacking trident with Neymar and Kylian Mbappe, quickly regaining his form from his previous season by starting off the new season on July 31 by scoring PSG's first goal in a 4-0 victory over Nantes in the Trophée de Champions, winning his second trophy with PSG. Due to his form in the previous season, Messi was not nominated for the Ballon d'Or award for the first time since 2005. On August 21, Messi provided a long-range assist for Mbappe, clocked at 8 seconds, for Ligue 1 second fastest goal ever scored, before also scoring a goal in 7-1 away win over Lille. The following matches, after registering six goal contributions, including one goal and five assists, Messi was named Ligue 1's Player of the Month in September. On October 5, he scored in a 1-1 draw away to Benfica in the Champions League becoming the only player in the competition's history to score against 40 different Champions League opponents. On October 25, he scored twice in a 7-2 Champions League win at home to Maccabi Haifa, setting the record for the most goals scored from outside the 18-yard box than any other player in the competition, with 23 goals. Four days later, Messi scored and provided an assist as PSG won 4-3 against Troyes to remain top of the Ligue 1 table. The goal was his 7th of the league season and his 12th overall, surpassing his total output of the prior season in just 18 matches. On February 26, 2023, PSG defeated Marseille 3-0 in L.E. Classique, with Messi scoring his 700th senior career club goal as well as assisting two goals from Mbappe. On March 11, PSG defeated Brest 2-1, with Messi setting up a last-minute winner from Mbappe, registering his 300th career assist. On April 8, he scored and provided an assist in a 2-0 away win over Nice in Ligue 1, which saw him overtake Cristiano Ronaldo as the all-time highest goalscorer in European club football with 702 goals. During the match, he also achieved 1,000 career direct goal contributions at club level. On May 2, Messi was suspended for two weeks and fined after taking an unauthorized trip to Saudi Arabia with his family as part of a promotional commercial agreement. His visit to Saudi Arabia meant he did not show up to training the previous day following a 3-1 defeat to Loria. The next day, on May 3, it was reported that Messi would leave PSG at the end of the season, following the expiry of his contract. Afterwards, Several PSG supporters demanded his exit from the club, viewing his absence as evidence of a team not fighting for the shirt, within a context of perceived disconnect between themselves and the club's identity. Two days later, Messi apologized to the club and his teammates for the trip, stating he thought he had a free day after the match against Loria, and already had the trip planned, which he had cancelled previously. On May 28, Messi scored in a 1-1 draw against Strasbourg helping PSG clinch their 11th Ligue 1 title and his second in a row, in the process Messi became the player with the most goals in the history of Europe's top five leagues, with 496 goals. On June 1, Galtier confirmed that PSG's home game against Clermont on June 3 would be Messi's last for the club, with the club confirming his departure two days later, the match ended in 3-2 defeat. He ended the season with the highest number of assists in the league with 16 and was also included in the UNFP's League One team of the season alongside teammates Akrav Hakimi, Nuno Mendes, and Mbappe. Following confirmation of his departure from PSG, Messi was linked with a return to former club Barcelona, as well as with a big-money move to Saudi professional league club Al-Hilal, 
but his eventual decision to sign for Major League Soccer Club Inter Miami was communicated to Barcelona President Joan Laporta by June 5, 2023. Barcelona were unable to sign him due to financial constraints. On June 7, Inter Miami posted a video on their social media hinting at the club's impending signing of Messi. On the same day, Messi confirmed his intention to join Miami in a joint interview with Mundo Deportivo and Sport, in which he said that they haven't closed it 100%, MLS also stated that the deal had not been finalized. He explained that even though La Liga had accepted everything and was fine for him to return to Barcelona, there were many things left to be done such as lowering salaries and selling players, and he did not want to go through it again or be responsible for it. He confirmed that other European clubs approached him, but that Barcelona was the only European team he wanted to play for. On July 15, 2023, Inter Miami announced the signing of Messi on a two-and-a-half-year contract. He was formally introduced to fans at a live-streamed event, dubbed La Presentation, at DRVPNK Stadium the following day alongside fellow signee and former Barcelona teammate Sergio Busquets. His base salary is set at $12 million with guaranteed compensation totaling $20.4 million for the 2023 season. Messi is also set to earn additional shares from jersey sales, MLS season pass subscriptions, and a stake in the club itself. Messi made his debut for the club on July 21 in a League's Cup match against Cruz Azul, scoring with a free kick in stoppage time for a 2-1 victory. After scoring nine goals in his first six games for Miami, Messi opened the scoring in the 2023 League's Cup final against Nashville SC on August 19 before Nashville equalized in the second half. The game ended in a penalty shootout which Miami won, 10-9, with Messi scoring the first, giving the club their first ever trophy. Messi made his MLS debut on August 26, coming on as a substitute in the 60th minute, scoring a late goal in a 2-0 away win against New York Red Bulls, which put an end to Inter's 11-match league winless streak. Messi's first goal in the regular season earned him goal of the match day with 89.7% of the vote. On October 30, following his World Cup win with Argentina and Ligue 1 trophy with PSG, Messi was awarded a record-extending 8th Ballon d'Or. Messi finished his first season for Inter Miami with 11 goals in 14 matches, after playing in his final game in a 1-0 loss to Charlotte FC on October 21. Miami finished 14th in the Eastern Conference, having gone winless in their last seven games. For his achievements in 2023, he was named Time Athlete of the Year, the first footballer to ever win the award. On January 15, 2024, Messi won the best FIFA men's player for a record third time. He also extended his record number of appearances in the FIFA Pro Men's World 11 to 17 straight appearances, having not missed out on the selection since 2006. On February 4, 2024, Inter Miami played an exhibition match against the Hong Kong League players at the Hong Kong Stadium. However, Messi sat on the bench during the whole match and did not play due to claimed injury which aroused the anger of the fans at the scene, who a majority opted for a refund. Messi's personal social media accounts were flooded by comments of unsatisfied fans. Legislative Council member Kenneth Falk issued a statement condemning the organizer Tatler and Inter Miami, believing that both of them are responsible and to issue an apology to the fans when the latter had received high remuneration. The government of Hong Kong also stated twice, expressing extreme disappointment at Messi's absence and saying that it was considering to revoke the HK$16 million sponsorship funds. The incident was nicknamed Messi Messi by the CNN, and translated as Messi's chaos by the Hong Kong media. On February 6, Messi and his teammates were seen training in Japan which left many to speculate he was not injured prior. Messi returned off the bench in the friendly against Vissel Kobe, which saw them win 4-3 on February 7. As a result, the Chinese Football Association temporarily halted its partnership with the Argentine Football Association over the incident on February 8. After two games in the 2024 season, 
Messi scored his first goal of the season in stoppage time to equalize in a 1-1 league draw with LA Galaxy on February 26. Messi went on to score four goals in his next three games, including a goal each in both legs of the CONCACAF Champions Cup against Nashville in March. He was later ruled out with a right hamstring injury after experiencing discomfort during the match. That's Leo Messi for you. Thank you for watching.